Hello, Karina Essa here from Social Media Worldwide, and in this video, I want to share with you how to effectively use Facebook's lead generation ads. When wanting to market your business, it can be quite tricky if you don't already have access to a mailing list or a large targeted and engaged social media audience. However, if you have an advertising budget, building a mailing list using Facebook ads can be very easy and very effective. In order to start building your mailing list, we recommend using Facebook advertising together with leads tunnel. Leads Tunnel is a software that allows you to automatically save people's name and email in your autoresponder system. Without using Leads Tunnel, Facebook simply creates a spreadsheet for you with all the names and emails collected as a result of the ad, which you then have to upload onto your autoresponder system. In other words, Leads Tunnel facilitates the whole process of adding all your leads in your autoresponder system in real time as soon as people opt in, instead of you having to do it all manually. In order to build your list, using Facebook ads and Leads Tunnel, you will need the following. First, a Facebook advertising account. If you haven't created one already, log into your Facebook account and go to facebook.com forward slash ads forward slash manager forward slash creation and follow the prompts. Two, a Facebook page. Three, a Leads Tunnel account. To open one, go to leadstunnel.com. Four, integrating your Facebook account and your autoresponder system with Leads Tunnel. You will only need to do it once. Five, an autoresponder system, a Weber, GetResponse, MailChimp, etc. Number six, follow up emails, up to three follow up emails scheduled in your autoresponder system. These emails should be sent a few days apart from each other in order to build the relationship further with your subscribers and build their trust. For example, one sent right after the person has entered their details, the second one a day after, and the third one another few days after. The purpose of these emails is to build excitement about your business, add value to your subscribers so they're more likely to buy when you make offers and train them to open your emails and look forward to them. Number seven, a privacy policy web page. Number eight, a free offer. Once you have ensured you have all the items above, you're ready to build your list. Simply go to your Facebook account and click on the drop down menu on the top right hand side of Facebook's dashboard. Then click on create ads. Then choose as a campaign objective, lead generation and name your campaign. Your campaign is like a folder in which all your Facebook ads for your business will be. You can name your campaign according to the name of your free offer. For example, lead generation free, gluten free recipe book. Then choose the Facebook page you want the ad to be displayed from. Then choose your target audience according to their age, gender, location and language. Then decide on your budget and how long you want to run the ad for. You are free to choose how much or how little you want to invest and for how long. Then select leads for optimization for ad delivery. The next step is creating your actual Facebook ad. You have the option to have carousel images, a minimum of three images that play one after another like a short video, a single image, a video or a slideshow. We usually either upload a video about our offer or a single image that is attention grabbing and relevant to the offer. Then you will be asked to write a headline which features below your image or video and also write text which features above your image or video and usually describes further what your ad is about and why people should click on the call to action. As for the call to action button, choose from the options in the drop down menu that makes the most sense based on your offer. Then for your display link, simply put your domain name. Please note that this link is not clickable, it is only for display. Next, click on plus new form. When you do, it will ask you to create your welcome screen. The welcome screen is the box that appears straight after people have clicked on your call to action in your ad. Simply add a headline, the title of your offer and bullet points, what people will get as a result of submitting their contact details. Then under questions, choose to collect people's name and email address. Then add the link of your privacy policy and the text for your privacy policy, which should simply be privacy policy. For the thank you screen, simply put the thank you page of your opt-in page. In other words, the page people go to after they have submitted their contact details. Don't forget to name your form, the name of this specific campaign, as to not get confused with future campaigns. Then click on save and finish and click on place order. The final step is logging into your leadstunnel.net account and clicking on add a campaign. Then name your campaign accordingly, select your Facebook page, click on update form and then select your Facebook lead form you just created previously. Next, under autoresponder integration, select your email marketing software, which should be displayed if you already integrated your email marketing software with your leads tunnel account. 
Under autoresponder list, select the autoresponder campaign you have created in your email marketing software where the leads will be saved under and from which the email follow-ups will be sent. Then click on save and you're all good to go. To ensure the ad has been set up properly and there are no mistakes, go back to your Facebook advertising console and click on the ad you have just created. Then click on preview to see what the ad looks like. Then click on view in newsfeed right below. You'll then be able to check how your ad appears in people's Facebook newsfeed and click on the call to action to experience the whole funnel. Although Leads Tunnel and Facebook will give you stats about your lead generation campaign, for accuracy, it is best to check your stats through your email marketing software as the stats will be 100% accurate compared to Leads Tunnel and Facebook. To then calculate your cost per lead, simply take the amount you spent on advertising and divide it by the number of leads you got. For example, should you have spent $500 and got 50 leads, your cost per lead, CPL, is $10. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, I've got an even better bonus for you. If you want to know how to leverage the power of Facebook even further, I've got my Facebook account optimization video tutorial. I'm going to play a preview in just a second. Click the tab on this video and it's going to take you to where you've got instant access to that full video. Plus you're going to get another three videos from our best-selling Social Media 360 home study course and it's not going to cost you anything. In these additional three bonus videos, I'll reveal how to leverage the power of Facebook ads for more traffic and leads, how to monetize your Facebook marketing efforts and the common mistakes to avoid on Facebook to experience results much faster than anyone else. And if you've got any questions, put them in the comments below. Click on the thumbs up. It really helps us out. And also remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you'll see our newest videos. See you soon. Hello and welcome to this video titled how to create and optimize a Facebook page. So if you don't have a Facebook page yet or would like to create a new one, then just follow this tutorial. So first log into your Facebook profile because you need to have a profile in order to create a Facebook page. Then click on the drop down menu on the top right hand side and go to create page. Then choose what it is that you want to promote on that Facebook page. What kind of business is it? Is it a local business? So if you have a local business that you want to promote on your Facebook page, pick this category because the template is different. Is it a company, organization or institution? Is it a brand or a product? Are you a public figure? You might be a speaker, a coach, you might be a singer. Then pick this one. Entertainment. That's if you are in the entertainment industry or is it a cause or a community? So is it a charity, for example, then you would pick that one. So for the purpose of this demonstration, I'll just go and choose brand or product. That's the most generic one. And then choose the category. So is it an app that you're promoting? baby goods so I will just go and click on website let's pretend this is an online business I'm promoting so I'll put website and then put your brand name or your product name so I'll just put test and then click on get started then add a profile picture. Now, if you are the face of the brand, then you would put a headshot of you. Make sure that the headshot of you is a close-up. It's not a cropped picture. Make sure that it's not pixelated. It's a nice picture of you smiling with no messy or busy background. So you really want to look professional. When you upload a picture, make sure that it's 170 times 170 pixels. If the picture you upload doesn't fit well enough, then you can go to pickresize.com and resize your pictures.